a Sheen magazine. So I want to know from the original Fresh, Fresh Prince, is there any element from the original show you would like to see on the new show that you all bring any element? Fresh I mean, yeah, I mean, there's certain elements we'd like to bring on. There's still some other characters from that universe we'd like to see show up on our show. Um, on the original, you know, we, we saw, for example, uh, Uncle Phil's mom. That's a character we, I think, would like to see join our campus. And last question. Um, for whatever reason, there was a lot of black Twitter, black Twitter went in on Carlton's character this year, and I saw a lot of you all take up for him via social media. Why do you think black Twitter came for him so hard this season? You were, you saw the show. You were seeing <laughs> they, uh, I felt like it was a little personal how uh, it was coming. Well, you know, you take anything that's iconic and then, I mean, you take the most iconic, likable character on Fresh Prince and then you make him so unlikable. And uh, I think it, be, I felt like, you know, everybody in the country had to do therapy on, well, who do you think? Carlton was if you brought him into real life. And in real life, even in the 90s, y'all had jokes about him. He's a clown. Uh, so if you take it out of the sitcom and you bring it today, it almost makes the 90s version almost feel like uh, uh, I'm looking for a nicer word than just a clown. But I don't think we ever got to see the depth of who that type of person is and what kind of little boy who is microaggressed his entire life around white people told you're attractive to be a black boy, you're smart to be a black boy, black boy got money. What what happens to that mind? You start to think, maybe I need to not be so black in the culture, maybe I need to be more European. What is it to be the N-word? What I mean, of course that's what that is. And then I think what's great about the show though is that the writers did such a great job of trying to implode the idea of like, why is being black so monolithic? Why can't be black? be so much more expansive. Being a woman is an expansive idea too. I think in general, in our culture, the American culture in general, needs to really open up what does it mean to be a spirit, to be a human, right? Yeah. That's why sexuality is a problem, the LGBTQ, these are divine people, right? To be a black woman is like black magic. To be a black man is to be a king, but it doesn't mean you can't have vulnerability and some blind spots. So, you know, you have to do some deep thinking about the conditioning that's happened to us as black people coming from slavery. And I think that's what black trigger, black Twitter, Twitter was triggered. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I love what you did there. I love what you did there. It's true. And I, and I just think there's a couple of things. One, it shows how good Buddy is as an actor, you know, mm. and, and two, you know, because because if people are hating him, it's for a reason, because he's so damn good. But also, as a community, I think Cass just tapped, tapped on it. There are certain areas within our community where it's like, don't go there, don't go there. And as I show, we go there. We go there. You know, we push hard in areas, a little more subtle in other areas, but we go there. And I think Black Twitter was a, was a complete response to that. But I think it's good. I think we need to have these conversations. When I look at that locker room scene, I'm like, yes, we were in a crowd of people at an event, and you could hear people just not comfortable with it, going, Shark oh, is this, cold is that? But when you hear what Colton's saying, I'm one of them, like, he's got a point. Do you remember? And other people, no, oh, he can't say that. And then you could hear people start going, oh, I want to hate him, but he's got a point. And I think that's what we need to do as people. We need to have these conversations, you know what I mean, about everything. Otherwise, we get stuck in the same conditioning and repetition from from yesteryears, and we want to we want to change that now. Thank you. Thank you. Noir TV showing on Verizon Vios Channel 269, Optimum Channel 1100, and on Digicel. Or on our website, www.nortv.com, or download the app from the App Store or Play Store.